Aloha. This is Reverend Keala Vai reporting to you from Keala Kakua Bay. Uh, as you can see, we're kind of have pretty much calm waters, even though every once in a while we'll have a splurge here. But this is where Captain Cook, and that is his monument over there, the little white spire. And that's where he uh, met his fate. And I want to talk to you a little bit about changing your fate, <laughs> as it were. A lot of us um, deal in fear, and fear is a negative energy, and it's a program that grows inside of our brain, and it just keeps running and running. And one of the ways we at the Aloha Healing Women um, help you get over your fears is using a technique called neurolingual programming. And neurolingual programming is simply doing this, and you can do this at home. I actually have it on my website under the self-help tips too. Um, so if you want to read the instructions for a little bit more confidence. But here's how you do it. And this is how I do it for the women here. Um, you get the worst case scenario. when it's kind of hard to do that when you're looking at this beautiful bay here. But you take whatever it is you're afraid of. And you make a little black and white movie of the worst case scenario. Like if, okay, for instance, if you're trying to give up cigarette smoking, um, I had one lady put herself out in the middle of the Pacific Ocean on a ship that was sinking, and she had no, uh, and it was a storm, and, well, it wasn't sinking, no, but it was a storm, and she had no cigarettes. And so that was her worst case scenario of being without a cigarette. And what you do is you play that over and over and over again. And what happens is your brain actually starts to get numb by it. And this works with any fear. It also works with any addiction or a behavior pattern that you don't want to do anymore. So you create the worst case scenario. You bring in the feelings, the thoughts, the, any triggers, uh, people who uh, make the situation worse or comments or whatever. And you make the worst case scenario in black and white, a little short movie, and then you play it over, and then you play it over, and you play it over and over until it gets stupid, until it gets really dumb, and, um, and a lot of times it'll get funny, uh, what used to um, trigger you to have fear or do automatic behaviors becomes ridiculous. It becomes absurd, and that's what you want. You want it to become so ridiculous and so absurd, or that it's so boring you can't even pull the movie together. And when you get to that place where you can't play it anymore, that it's just stupid and silly, or dumb and boring, play it a couple of more times, and then you play it backwards. Um, and you want to play it backwards to a count of ten, in full color like a cartoon. And you, you play it backwards to a count of ten, and then you go to a count of nine, and you play it backwards to a count to eight, until you get all the way down to it's just a zip. And that erases that whole program in your brain. And again, this works for anything um, that you want to get rid of, any kind of thought pattern, fear, uh, addictions, um, just um, negative behavior patterns that you're keeping. There's no reason to keep them. This actually erases the program from your brain. You can do it on your own. It's called neurolingual programming. And aloha.